In this video, we're going to talk about radios to have in your RV. We're going to talk about an emergency crank-up radio, and we're going to show you some two-way radios that Jennifer and I use as part of the RV lifestyle. Check it out. Let's talk about these radios. Uh, let me start with this one. This is a pretty cool little radio from Midland. This is a uh, emergency weather crank up radio. Uh, it's got a little antenna here that you can pull out. And on the back, uh, well, first of all, it runs on batteries. So you've got batteries, but if the batteries die, uh, it has a crank. And this crank will actually charge the batteries. You just run it for a minute or two and you can get uh, uh, quite a few minutes of, uh, of listening time. It really does a great job. and So you always have power no matter what happens, even if your batteries die. Uh, I like that. It has uh, AM, FM radio and that's pretty cool. You can listen to uh, FM, A, there's FM, or AM. And then it also has the weather band. Uh, the weather band will let you listen in on uh, emergency weather forecast uh, alerts uh, all over the, uh, the area. Whatever area you're in, you just scroll around and you can find it. Uh, this is just a great thing to keep in the RV in the event of bad weather coming. It's very small. It's compact. Oh, and it, it also has, uh, it also has a, uh, a flashlight, which is pretty cool. See the flashlight? And you've got different modes on the flashlight, brighter, uh, emergency flashlight. Uh, it's all pretty cool. And this emergency crank up radio, the cost of this thing, 50 bucks. It's well worth having one of these in your RV. And uh, so there's always a way you can find out what's going on in the event of uh, an emergency or bad weather coming in. Now I want to go to the radios that are two-way radios that you can listen and you can talk and receive. And these are the ones that uh, we're using now. These are really cool. These are the X Talker from Midland Radio. We got a pair of them. Cost 80 bucks for a pair. Whoop, a little feedback there. Hey, one, two, three, four, five. How are you doing there, Mike? Oh, I'm doing just fine, Mike. How about you? Yeah, anyway, they're really cool. Um, you can get up to five miles range between these, depending on the terrain. Uh, seldom do you need anything like that. Even a mile is uh, is pretty regular, and that's that's good distance. So you could use these a, a number of different ways. The best way that Jennifer and I use them is um, when we pull into a campsite, I'll hand her one of these. She'll go stand at the back of the uh, RV and she'll direct me in. The other thing that we, we do with these is if we're traveling in a caravan with some friends, uh, we will gladly let the friends have one of these and then uh, we can be two or three car lengths ahead and we can communicate over the walkie-talkies. They work great. Uh, so these are nice to have. They're also really good to have uh, if you do a lot of hiking. We put one on our backpacks or in our pocket uh, and carry them with us whenever we hike. Sometimes. Uh, somebody will be back at the RV and the other person will go for a short hike and it's just nice to have these. Uh, they will work oftentimes where cell phones won't work, where there's no cell phone service. And uh, you know, they're, they're just very reliable. Uh, easily a mile distance uh, under most circumstances, up to five if it's, if it's clear. The uh, X Talker from Midland Radio, we really like these things a lot. Now, I have another Midland Radio that I really am excited about. And this is this is it. This is called the Micro Mobile, and this is a little different. Remember, I told you about the family radio service. That's what these uh, little uh, walkie-talkies work on. You don't need a license for these. 
Uh, this works on a different service called the General Mobile Radio Service, GMRS. W this one you're supposed to get a license. You're supposed to. A lot of people don't, but you're supposed to. Uh, you just basically fill out an application, send in a fee for to the FCC, and they'll send you uh, your license back. Now, the reason this should be licensed is because they're more powerful. This one is... 15 watts. These aren't even a watt. They're maybe a quarter of a watt, half a watt at the most. I, I'm not even sure, but they're way less than a watt. This is 15 watts. This will give you 10 miles easy on the road distance. Um, compared to CB radio, a CB radio will get two or three miles reliably on the road. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Now, you know some of those truckers, they've got amplifiers and <laughs> they just about light up everything they pass by. They got so much power, and those are a little different. But, but in general, CB radio and it's noisy, and it's this is UHF frequencies. Uh, it's not uh, HF frequencies, high frequency that the CB's on. That's noisy. There's squeals and static. This is smooth. It's clean and clear and crisp, and you can understand it. 15 watts. Now that's a pretty cool thing. Why would we put this in our RV? Well, we'll put it in our RV for a couple of reasons. One, it will work with these little handy talkies. It has a number of different channels, and the different channels will actually uh, be picked up by this 15-watt uh, radio. And as those channels pick it up, um, you can extend the range. And this can also operate as sort of a repeater system. And as a repeater system, you're able to um, basically set up a network of communications between other RVers, uh, in a campground, if you're having a gathering. Many people have those uh, family radio services. You just have to pick the channel you want to work. They're really handy. We think this is going to be really fun. And one of the things that I want to do is I install it in our RV. Uh, it's very simple to install. All the controls are through a little heads, uh, little microphone, so they're built in. You could actually put the transceiver. I'm going to put it up in a little visor, uh, Velcro it down there really firm. And then the microphone, you just take that down, and that, will, that does all the controls, so it's very compact. But it's really cool because the communications quality and distance are so great. And uh, we're going to try it. It's very popular, the GMRS, the General Mobile Radio Service, with uh, people who, you know, all the, the Jeep uh, owners out there, you know how Jeep people are everywhere out in the boonies doing their off-roading. Uh, ATV people uh, love these things. Snowmobilers use them. And more and more truckers are putting GMRS radios in their system because they're sick of all the CB radio noise. They like the distance and being able to reach other truckers up on the road. So I'm thinking to myself, if the truckers are doing it, maybe we RVers ought to do it. So I'm going to put this in ours, and I'm going to run it for the rest of the year, and we'll see if I can find other RVers. It'd be nice to say, hey, uh, big Winnebago, I just passed, uh, you know, um, going the other direction. How's, how's the traffic up where I'm going? It would be nice to have that capabilities. But even just communicating among ourselves, I think these radios are, are going to be neat. And uh, I'm going to, uh, they give you a pretty good mounting kit. It's a very tiny little external antenna, and uh, it's very easy to mount, and uh, and then you have that 15-watt uh, uh, system in your car. It's pretty cool. And this is that microphone. Well, I'll show you the real mic, but you can see it. It's very small, and all the controls are right in it. My unit has run into a bit of a problem. Uh, it needs an external antenna. Now, it's just a tiny little antenna. Can you see this thing here? This is just a little magnetic mount. And it's meant to be on a magnetic surface. But the problem is, is to get this up high on the roof, it's fiberglass. And there is no uh, metal up there that will get the ground. That's why you need the metal, to get a ground for this little tiny antenna. So what the folks at Midland do is they sent me this little metal plate. And it uh, comes with some adhesive, strong uh, adhesive tape. And uh, you can see I've got it on the back there. I'll just take those off. And that would uh, adhere to the uh, fiberglass. And then the antenna will go on like that. And it will get the ground. And then uh, it's a matter of running the little cable in through the door uh, to hook up to the transceiver. So we're going to try that. We have a little ladder here. And we'll climb up. And let's take a look at what we've got up on the roof. 
as the drifters used to sing. Yeah. See? See? See that's that's fiberglass. <laughs> Won't stick. All fiberglass. Take the tape off. Now I've wiped down the surface there. And we're gonna put this down right there. There you go. That's in there good. Yeah. We got it. Okay, I have it all set up now, and there is how I have mounted it. There's a little recessed area here at the top of the dashboard. The transceiver is there, and all of the controls are in the microphone right here. In the mic, they give you a little mounting bracket like so. Uh, but all of the controls are there to choose whatever channels you want. Uh, the speaker is in the microphone, so it's all integrated, very easy to control there. Now, uh, they tell me that channel 7 is, uh, is known as sort of a trucker's channel from other truck drivers who happen to have a GMRS radio in it. Um, in our brief chest so far, I've not heard any truck drivers on here. So I don't know whether this would really be a good um, a substitute for a CB radio. I think that would probably be more valuable if you want to uh, have some communications with people ahead or behind you on the road. But if you're in a group of other RVers using the little uh, handy talkies and using uh, this 15-watt uh, version, I think you've got some pretty good communications. And I think that this will uh, this will catch on with RVers, especially since Midland is really marketing towards RVers. Uh, in our use, we find them, the, the two walkie-talkies very handy. Uh, it's nice to have communications when you're out on a hike. And uh, it's nice when people are behind you. Um, it's nice to use them backing in, as you saw. And uh, I think uh, I think we're going to like this. It's, it doesn't take much room, and it's uh, an easy addition to the RV. Mike to Jen. Mike to Jen, do you copy? Uh, Mike to Jen. Mike to Jen. Hey, Jen, you copy? Go for Jen. I was wondering where you were. Is it pretty down there? Yeah, we'll want to come down here and do the sunset pictures uh, or sunrise. Maybe sunset because we can sleep in a little bit longer. Okay, see you in a little bit. See you uh, in about an hour. Jen out. We have found these walkie-talkies extremely handy to have. And we really like that big transceiver too. And let's not forget that uh, crank up uh, weather channel uh, radio. That's, that's help helpful to have too. It's just good to have these when you're separated from each other because cell phones don't always work. No, and uh, the range of these things is, is, is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. We have uh, links to uh, all the radios we just showed you. Uh, we want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on this video. And when you do so, uh, subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. Happy trails!